Welcome to my new video on Identity PSK with our Radius server. So um, we've been talking about the different ways Meraki allows you uh, to connect to the network and in this case we're specifically talking about wireless access. So um, one of the reasons why you would like to implement Identity PSK with our Radius is to minimize the number of SSIDs that are being broadcasted at any given time. Uh, when you minimize the number of SSIDs that are being broadcasted at any given time, you're going to improve the overall Wi-Fi performance because you're not going to have uh, or you're going to reduce the amount of CCI and ACI uh, co-channel interference and adjacent channel interference. And, and again, this is something that, that you can do on your network configuration. If you are getting um, interference from other sources or from other Wi-Fi networks, you don't have the option of controlling that. But at least you can make your network better. You would like to avoid uh, the number of SSIDs that you have, uh, that you are broadcasting at any given time. So. Um, one of the uh, most effective ways to do that and one of the most effective and most secure ways to minimize the number of SSIDs that you are broadcasting is by um, utilizing Radius Server. But uh, not all clients, not all devices support Radius authentication for one reason or another. And besides that, you would need to have a Radius Server infrastructure in order for you to take advantage of that. But if you want a similar benefit as Radius, without Radius, you would use Identity PSK um, without Radius. And um, it's not going to be as secure, but it's going to be able to solve the main problem of broadcasting many SSIDs. So let's go over that configuration one more time. Uh, a quick note that I have to uh, let you know is that it requires the firmware version 27.1 uh, on the access points and it also requires uh, clients of 802.11ac as a minimum which means 11ac and AX so if you're running on anything prior to that uh, identity PSK without radius is not going to work for you so um, let me go back to the Meraki uh, portal one more time and okay what you would do is you would go to wireless you select the SSID then you edit the settings of the SSID and here we are on network access so I already pre-configured uh, a couple of settings but I'm going to add a new one so you'll see the process for that you would click on add and you name uh, this uh, whatever you want to name it uh, warehouse and then you would add a um, passphrase or PSK password and what's going to happen is that you can create different PSKs to be used by clients to authenticate to one SSID and you can map the PSKs to group policies and apply network settings at the group policy level so when the clients connect to the network they're going to identify oh i'm using this psk this passphrase and this is mapped to this group policy to this group policy object and the group policy object is going to have a specific network settings that are going to be applied to that specific um, configuration so let's go over that really like, quick and you know we'll we'll test this so i'm going to add password one two three it's gonna be my password you could do whatever you want to do and then you can assign this PSK to group policies right that you have in your system so I'm gonna apply that to let's say um, uh, a guest policy right if, 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 if you have one if now you can create it if, if you need to create one so let me just stop this right now and let me go to group policies you access group policies by going to network wide group policies and from here uh, you can clone one of the existing policies or you can add one so I'm just gonna add a group policy I'm gonna name this warehouse 
And I'm gonna just do this for now, then I'll come back to this later. It's saving it, so let me go back here. Cancel, let me do. I'm gonna assign this to a warehouse. The password, password one, two, three. And I'm gonna assign it to Oh, the system hasn't synchronized yet, so uh, let me pause the video and just give the system a minute or two to synchronize, um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, we're back. I mean, one of the great things about cloud is that, you know, it has many amazing benefits, but, you know, sometimes there's a little delay in the synchronization. It just took a couple of seconds, maybe, you know, 60 seconds, more than a couple, but it took almost a minute to sync. Uh, so let me go back to uh, adding this. I'm gonna go name it warehouse uh, password one two three. It's gonna be my PSK for this uh, identity. Let me make sure password one two three, and I'm gonna assign it to my group policy that I created before. I'm gonna add it. So let me save these uh, changes and ever do this. So um, as you can see, I have one SSID. This is um, Identity PSK with already as is the name of the SSID for testing purposes. And then I have three different PSKs, right? I have a PSK that I created for laptops, IoT, and warehouses. And these are just the name. Uh, it doesn't really matter what matter is this what they are being mapped to the group policies that you are being uh, that you're mapping the PSK to and um, As you could see we have three different PSKs and What's going to happen is this when users authenticate. Let me go back here to my Windows computer So details or right, let me uh, disconnect from my Wi-Fi network disconnect let me forget this network <clears throat> so as you can see I only have one identity identity uh, PSK with our radius SSID but I have four PS3 PSKs in this case, and each PSK is different, which means that when I log in to the SSID using this PSK, I'm gonna get a specific, specific settings uh, assigned to that group policy. The same if I connect to the SSID using this PSK or password and the same with this. So um, let me go over here to group policies. You see the group policies right here. This is the one that I assigned that, uh, uh, that PSK to. So let me edit this. And as you can see here, you have uh, many uh, configuration options that you can implement in your network. Uh, you can customize the bandwidth that you would like to add to this. Uh, you can set, set a schedule for this. Uh, network visibility, you can apply uh, layer 3 and layer 7 firewall rules to your configuration. And uh, you can also come over here and assign the VLAN that you would like to assign to this. Actually, uh, VLAN tag, you would tag it. And if you have a, a, a bonjour, you want to enable it, disable it, then you also have many um, security um, settings that you can apply to this if you would like to, uh, depending on the group policy uh, that you're working with. So uh, let me uh, show you a couple of, of pre-configured settings that I have on other group policies. So for these Mac devices, I have a bandwidth limit of 5 um, megabits per second. I have a couple of layer 3 firewall rules, layer 7 firewall rules. And if you have umbrella, you can also uh, connect this uh, to your umbrella account and also get the settings from there. You can also implement uh, 
QoS, traffic shaping, and you have many settings that you can do. So as you can see, let me go back here, depending on the uh, PSK that you are using, the system automatically is going to apply the group policy settings that you have pre-configured or in, in this configuration. So um, let me uh, show you right here, for instance, I have a, uh, a Mac device and that is uh, VLAN 80, right? I'm tagging it to VLAN 80. And on the laptops, I am tagging the VLAN to, oh, this is 80, the other one is 70. Oh, my bad. Okay, so let me show you this um, real quick. Uh, so we're going to do this. Uh, so if I come here and I connect to my identity PSK with a radius, connect. It says can connect to this network. Oh, let me uh, disable my uh, interface card. Enable it one more time. Okay, so I am going to add the um, the PSK for uh, let's see the PSK for IoT devices, right? So that is Manzana One. So as you could see here, Manzana One. I'm gonna do next. The system is connecting right now, and now I'm connected. So one of the many settings I have on that uh, group policy is that I'm mapping to VLAN, uh, what is it? Oh, right here. Not this. Oh, shoot, where did it go? Laptops right here. Oh, right here. Uh, one of the options that I have there is that I'm mapping my configuration to uh, VLAN 70. So let me come here. And as you can see, I am getting an IP address on my uh, VLAN 70. So let me disconnect from here. Forget the network. Right? And now I am going to connect to the same SSID using password one, and that is the Dell password, and I'm mapping that to laptops. So this is Mac devices, warehouse, this is laptops, and laptops I am mapping to VLAN 80. Right, so uh, let me do this one more time. Let me come here. Let me find this. I'm using password one as my password. And as you could see, I have my VLAN 80. Now, this is one of the settings that I'm able to see, but all the um, settings that I have configured on my uh, on my group policy are applied to that specific session uh, because I am connected to it. So I'm just using the VLAN as an example because it's very simple to see. Um, as you can see, uh, that is the main option to. Um, to use identity PSK without radius. You could have many PSKs, uh, options, um, and allow the clients to connect to only one SSID and assign the uh, mappings and all the network settings at the group policy level. And again, that's one of the uh, ways to improve your Wi-Fi security and Wi-Fi performance by minimizing the number of SSIDs in your network. 
and this has been another video of IT best practices. I hope it was useful to you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.